What's happening, Internet family? Dan here from DanceTube.tv, and today I am discussing and testing Active Track 2.0 on the Mavic 2 Pro. As you can see from this footage, the boat I am tracking is moving really fast, and amazingly enough, Active Track 2.0 keeps up and does an amazing job while doing so. In the other footage you'll see, you'll actually see me testing it in a densely packed area with lots of trees around, and amazingly enough, it survived the whole process, although I did get really close to a tree, and as I moved towards the drone and it was trying to back up, I don't know if the size sensors didn't work or what happened there, but it got really close to the tree that was terrifying the original active track only mapped out a 2d image from the main camera where active track 2.0 actually utilizes the forward dual vision sensors as well as the main camera meaning that it maps out a three-dimensional view of the surrounding environment this means that when the drone is actually tracking a target it will map out a flight path on its 3d map and it will actually avoid all the obstacles in the area which is amazing and from the tests in this tightly densely packed little area it did a fantastic job. The original active track never had trajectory prediction meaning that it would never be able to predict if some sort of vehicle or maybe the subject or whatever it may be that you were tracking if that went behind some sort of obstacle whether that's like a tree or some sort of hilly area the drone itself would just stop working and this was annoying but it actually became more annoying when the sunlight actually interfered with the shot and the drone would just stop following you because for some reason the sunlight was impairing its vision so that just screwed everyone around but now there's actual amazing algorithms embedded within this system meaning that it can maintain tracking of a subject when it goes behind an object and is obstructed by something. And the other improvement about Active Track 2.0 is its high speed tracking capabilities now. It can actually track fast moving subjects like cars and boats at speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour, which is insanely fast. And this boat that I was tracking was going extremely fast and it did an amazing job of keeping up and maintaining a nice smooth shot. So I'm really impressed with Active Track 2.0. That test where we went through that densely packed area, that was impressive as well. I was really happy with the results. And from what I've seen, it looks like the front and the rear sensors are the most active during Active Track. And obviously the side sensor didn't really seem to pick up the tree. And that's probably why it came close to destroying my drone. So that's terrifying, just to think how close it was. You can't really see any footage of how close it actually was, but let's just say it didn't do a fantastic job there. Overall though, it did an amazing job of moving around the trees, and if it came directly at a tree, it would move around it, or it would try to come up a little bit or lower, depending on the area. It did a great job, and honestly, the situation we put it in was ridiculous anyway, and it did a great job of actually navigating around the trees. So for real world scenarios, when you're tracking cars or boats, or even just someone jogging, or on their bicycle, this is going to be fantastic because you're not going to be ridiculously close to the subject. You're going to try to get a bit of distance from the fast moving subject. And I'm really impressed with Active Track 2.0. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.